Uh, we're fortunate to have two of those with us tonight, uh, two of the guests that will be appearing at the Medina County Collector's Fair. Uh, the first is Tammy Aaron. We're gonna go ahead and welcome her here in a second and, and let you know a little bit about Tammy's background. Um, she began her career in the entertainment industry at a very, very young age. Uh, I believe around eight, she started with a uh, internationally renowned modeling agency. And then at the age of 11, Tammy auditioned for the role, the coveted role of Pippi Longstocking, where she was up against something like a pool of 8,000 other candidates for uh, for that opportunity. And she was selected and, of course, went on to star in that movie. And uh, we're going to get to talk to her tonight about that experience and things that are going on these days as well. I believe we're coming up on the 80th anniversary of those the original uh, books that came out for Pippi Longstocking. So let's go ahead and welcome in. Tammy Aaron, who will be joining us here at the Medina County Collector's Fair. And uh, Tammy, thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, we we look forward to to having you this weekend, too, at the, at the Medina County Collector's Fair. And I know that, that you're no stranger to, to some of these events, um, but it's got to always be a thrill when you get to meet new fans that you know, have seen your movies or their kids have seen your movies and, and look up to, to, especially during Halloween time when people dress up as you. <laughs> That's so true. And I always hear new stories, new inspiring stories or stories of bravery, um, you know, so it's very heartwarming and it's really awesome. And thank you so much for, for mentioning the 80th anniversary of Pippi because that's really exciting. It's coming up next year. So, yeah. Yeah. And you've got a couple of things going on with that uh, that coincides with the anniversary. Why don't we touch on that real quickly, and then we'll we'll go back to to how that uh, that role evolved. Uh, I believe there's a, a movie coming out that you're involved with called I Am Pippi, and then there's a tour that's coming up as well in celebration at 80th. Why don't you tell us about that? Yeah, so in 2025, I have a new movie. It's a documentary called I Am Pippi, and it. Uh, they're going around the world and they've chronicled the actresses who have played Pippi Longstocking in movies. Uh, I'm the movie actress, television, and then also opera, Pippi in the Circus, and uh, Russian Pippi. So they've got a bunch of us. And it's all about how Pippi Longstocking has touched our lives and really how wh what this phenomenon has been this 80 years of the creation of Pippi Longstocking and how it has not only affected us, but how it's really it, you know, touched so many people, millions of, of people around the world and inspired them to be strong and brave and kind and be adventurous. Uh, the second thing I have is the Pippi Coming to Your Town tour, which is movie screenings all over the country, coast to coast. And I've already started doing that and it is so fun. People bring me like the most amazing things. The last one that I went to at Go Theaters in Tulsa, I had a painting, a beautiful kind of Warhol type painting that I autographed for the artist while I was there. So um, yeah, it's just all kinds of fun. And I can't wait to be able to release all of the cities and all the dates where I'm going all over the country for that in addition to all the Comic Cons that I do. Oh, and you can get all the information at TammyAaron.com. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I, I, I saw that. And, you know, the heartwarming stories that, that you know, some of the things that, that you've done since, you know, being a, a United Nations ambassador for UNICEF, and I saw in heart.com, like, like, talk about those and, and how you came in and brought those into life into fruition and, and why you got uh, involved in those organizations. I was very honored to be tapped on the shoulder to be the UNICEF ambassador for 1988. I was the youngest UNICEF ambassador in history for World Children's Day at the United Nations. I spoke to the delegates of over 100 countries in the General Assembly Hall, which is where the presidents speak. And my speech was entitled, Have a Good Day. And I spoke about the hunger, education, and wartime issues that children face globally. When I did that, I was 13 and then also turned 14, and it led me on to decades of charity and humanitarian work. And so I'm really incredibly grateful for that honor and the impact it's um, you know, given me and, and the significance that it brought to my life. Um, yeah, so, uh, but also, um, I guess the second question, can you repeat it? Because I think it was about um, 
the fans, but the other thing that Tommy was mentioning, the other thing that was really significant about this movie was there were two royal world premieres. One, I was the guest of the Princess of Japan, Princess Nori in uh, Tokyo, Japan, and then also King Carl and Queen Sylvia in Sweden for the second royal world premiere. So it was just a massive you know, movie, and I'm so grateful that it's been able to make people happy all over the world for 36 years. It's, it's really an incredible legacy that it's offered me. Jamie, I, I read that you were featured uh, in a Trivial Pursuit board game uh, yeah. in a couple of editions in the DVD for your what it, what it was at the time and may still be your record-breaking accomplishment of winning the role of, of Pippi over some 8,000 other uh, entrants and, and, and would-be or wannabe actors. Um, what was that, that process like at such a young age going through? And talk a little bit about when you, you were tapped to win that role and, and, and how that skyrocketed from there. I had been an elite model doing national commercials and modeling campaigns for three years. And then uh, Pippi was my first movie audition. And of course there were callback, callback, screen tests, and then final, final screen test. Um, and I was with Jenny Lewis and Faye Masterson. And um, and then I was announced you know, to win the role. And the thing I think that was significant about it was that I was never nervous the entire time. And when I finally got to work with Ken Anakin, Ken directed uh, over 50 movies in his career, was a Disney legend, Disney Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, directed one of my favorite movies ever, Swiss Family Robinson. Um, what was uh, amazing was that they also let me do my own stunts. So not only did I win the role for acting, and, and of course I looked like Pippi Longstocking, of course that helped, but I never had an acting class in my life when I got that role. And I also got to do 80% of my own stunts, the horseback riding, roller skating, and gymnastic stunts. So I, I won because I had like the whole package that they were looking for. And when Garrison found me, who Garrison True, by the way, the casting director, he also found Annie. So when he was traveling all over the world, it was because he was that casting director who also found Annie that he was then trying to find Pippi. So yeah, winning the role out of over 8,000 is what landed me in the Trivia Pursuit Millennium Edition. And also I'm in the board game, but that's that's about Pippi. Yeah, that's it. those things to be recognized for are, are awesome. I, I asked you earlier, you know, but before we got on camera that I, I hadn't found a card of you and, and you reminded us that you did, you have a hostess card on the bottom of the cupcakes yeah. which I'm going to have to go and find those. I, what we wanted to show you is that we also have a card of you that we're going to have at the show. Jeremy, you want to show that? Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. I love that. <laughs> Part of what we do here, we have a, a whole division that we make trading cards, and, and we've made some for some collegiate student athletes, but we thought it would be fun to create – cards and, and we have a designer, Daniel from 61st Street Designs, who came up with this concept and, and we have a limited edition of all six uh, of you that will be at our show that we'll have for customers that, and we'll pass some out. And, you know, so we thought it'd be fun to have this for the Medina County Collectors Fair. That is so awesome. I'm really excited about the Medina County Collectors Fair. And this will actually be a first where I have a set of uh, you know, the last time was the hostess, but this will be a first where I have a set of trading cards. So thank you. Our pleasure. Well, we know uh, you've got a busy schedule. We've got a packed evening tonight. Uh, we're going to see you, as you, you mentioned, next Saturday and Sunday in Medina. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that show as we move on. But Tammy, we, we can't thank you enough for joining us this evening. And we really look forward to you can learn more at TammyAaron.com. And of course, greenysportscards.com for more information about the show this weekend. I'll see you guys there. See ya.